Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, my name is Dizzy, and we are going to be jumping right in. Uh, oh, it's running a little bit slowly. That's partly because I've got uh, everything open, because, as usual, for a hunter stream, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our inventory, see what we've got on, uh, and then jump into... I'm just going to look at the ammo numbers. Okay, I need some more of those. Uh, jump into the old uh, storage thing and fix our kit. It's my little my little mantra there. Uh, what do I need? I need two or three poly tips. Let's buy a bunch of them. Um, we're we're sort of going to be doing a bit more of the the same old same old. We still still have that fox quest to do. Uh, but last stream, we had a big success. We actually managed to check off one out of three foxes for the fox stream. So uh, massive, amazing, great success. Uh, I'm taking a look at what we have on. Uh, we have the Anderson 22LR Marksman. Do I have a sight on that? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, just sort of vaguely wondering if I want to keep it or swap out because I probably have enough. No, I definitely have enough space to uh, swap it for the Virant, Let's say. Oh, maybe not actually. How much does the Virant weigh? No, the Virant weighs two point five. Never mind then. Uh, okay, I guess we're keeping the the Anderson. Uh, I've still actually used it, but that's fine. Uh, one of the things we do have to do is, I am really tight on carry weight space for reasons I'm not super duper clear about because I feel like I used to carry a lot more than this in the past. Uh, it's probably because this is just a massively heavy gun. Um, but it's meant I don't have enough space for, for example, my rangefinder bow sight. I'm saying that, actually, do I? If I get rid of this. No, I do not. Okay. Um, it's very annoying. But there's not much we can do about it. So we're just swapping over binoculars for today. Pop them on two. Now we can see in the dark a lovely green moon. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, yes. So having done that, uh, I need to close down all of the things what I don't need. So the Firefox, you can go... Uh, steam thing, you can go. Fantastic. Okay, we should hopefully be able to get on with our day. Uh, now, in terms of missions, uh, you can see currently we have a, a straw fields mission active, but actually, what I'm looking to do is uh, see if we can get back to Spreeberg Lake. Uh, the time is currently 7.23. What does that mean in terms of zones? That might be active. That one's finished. That one... See, we checked that out before, didn't we? That was where we were at the end of last stream. Uh, then. That's odd, because I could have sworn there was a fox feed zone that I had capped out. And I now can't see it. In fact, there were definitely some need zones down here, which now no longer exist. Uh, that's not good news. I don't know why that is. I definitely didn't delete them by shooting stuff on top of them. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to head down to, to this old tent again. Uh, and... See if we can catch just the very end of this fox drinking zone, and then we're going to wander over to that other place and see what the hell's going on there. Because uh, I'm not super happy about the fact that that need zone seems to have disappeared, to be brutally honest. Uh, okay, there is a rest zone here that I'm just gonna. Oh, there's one right outside the tent, actually. Hang on. I'm just gonna... Oh, the uh, 
Binoculars have like glare and stuff on them now as well. Okay, that's the fallow deer. There's also a feed zone here. Might be this. We'll find out. Oh, ah. I was seeing online today, uh, some people were talking about like length of, of streaming times. And there were lots of people saying, you know, oh, I, I do a, an eight hour stream every day because it's like a, a proper job when I do that. And A, I think there's a lot of like people being like, oh, you've got to respect the hustle or whatever. Which is nonsense. But secondly, you know, streaming is not like any other entertainment job. If you're a children's TV presenter or whatever, you're not in front of people for eight hours straight in your eight hour job. Whereas if you're a streamer, you really are. You know, barring like loo breaks. If you stream for eight hours, that is eight hours of you being a, a presenter to people. There is absolutely no way that after seven hours, let's say, you are making quality content for that audience. Not even slightly. Now, admittedly, plenty of streamers out there don't really make quality content in the first place, but... You know, even if you start off that way, you definitely aren't still going by the end of that period. And the other thing, of course, is that there's more to streaming than just being live. There's everything else that you do as well. Now, admittedly, I don't put in a full eight-hour day towards my streaming anyway, and maybe I should do, but I don't. Uh, I don't think I can currently handle that. But, you know, even if I did, not all of that would be being live on the internet. So I think it really is just kind of like one of those silly, like, people competing to, to show that they work more hours and lick more boots than any of their colleagues. Sort of weird competitions. Uh, that I'm not a fan of. If these zones over there really have, like, disappeared, that's going to be so annoying. Is that... Oh, hello. Fox tracks. Hang on a sec. I'm going to mark that and come back to it. I was about to say, it would be really annoying if I have to, like... Refind a bunch of need zones. Put my ground blinds down at. But bearing that in mind, I'll remember those fox tracks so that I can follow them and see if they lead to a need zone. Because that would be very handy. Uh, hmm. I have, you know, like, separate reasons for not streaming for absurd lengths of time. Particularly for me trying to get up affiliate. One of the important things that I'm measured by, by Twitch, is uh, average view account. So spending eight hours streaming to absolutely no one is going to completely tank that. There is no point in me doing that. It's just going to make my life actively harder. Which is a shame, because there are definitely some times where I feel like, oh, I'd be happy to, like, go away and have a break at, say, two and a half hours in, and then come back and do another two and a half hours. Hello? Hello? 
I, I, I very, very briefly had the chance to spot someone over that way. A foxy! Amazing. I just have to get into this and shoot it. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Spot. Amazing. That that couldn't have gone better. <laughs> that really couldn't have gone better. Uh fantastic. Uh, do our best not to fall down too much. Oops, oops. Now we didn't actually make him, like, properly go flying. Previously, I have, when we, when we shot foxes last stream, they proper, like, leapt a few feet through the air on impact. Uh, but that was at much closer range. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so looking forward to having this mission checked off. People who've been watching for a while will know that... Like... This mission has been in, in the, the, the front of our minds for... IRL weeks. And probably several in-game days. Not just the, the setting up of the mission, but... The, uh... The, the, the endlessly returning to these new zones and stuff. That is a pheasant mating call. Uh, it's nice to see that the pixels are back. Yeah, we love those. They're a relatively new feature, the Call of the Wilds. They're completely independent of any graphic setting. Uh, they just look ugly for the sake of looking ugly. Go figure. Uh, I really should have a mark down on this so that I don't lose it. <laughs> that over there is a house. It looks kind of funky in the night. We always do scan the other bank, just in case. But I have so far never found anything. So, by even seeing that fox was a stroke of luck, uh, I generally do have a look over here with the goggles when they're in that that uh hide but we 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 really did find him by accident and what I can't understand is why these need zones would have disappeared but the other fox need zones haven't they're still there. Like, this one is still here. Oh, that one's disappeared as well! Hmm. Supposedly... And this has never happened to me, but supposedly... You can make a need zone disappear by killing all of the animals that use it. Like I say, it's never happened to me before. Oh, oh no. There's another foxy. Uh... I'm very far away from that tent. Do I go back? Or will I have scared him off? Will I, would I even be able to see him if I hadn't? Okay, we're gonna wander back. Uh oh. We're going to back up, see if we can get back to our ground blind, and see if we can call that foxy to attract it. Look 
because I'd really love this quest to be done with. That would make my day. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sneakity sneak. I don't even know where my pen is. Uh, no, I just keep going this way, I'll bump into it eventually. So yeah, I suppose it's possible that the one fox that we shot over there might have been the only fox that used any of those zones, and so it decided to delete them, I guess? Like I say, that's never happened before. Uh, in a sec, I'm going to blow this thing, and you're going to have to cover your ears because it is the worst noise ever invented. I have to blow it before I get 200 meters away, because it only has a range of 200 meters. So if I wait till I get back to the ground blind, then it will be useless. Where is my tent? Oh, it's so far away. Oh, and it is up a hill as well, I forgot about that. The basic plan is if I call a couple times on the way, then I might each time lure it close enough to be attracted by the next. And then I can lure it back to where I can shoot it from the tent. I've practiced this before on Roosevelt Elk, uh, with the caveat that Roosevelt Elk are significantly less clever than foxes, and so significantly easier to do stupid things to, like this. I'll have very little way of knowing if it's worked until I get back to the tent and I can see has it been lured to a location where I'll be able to shoot it from the tent. So, this could all be for nothing, but we're taking a chance, doing our best, believing, crossing all of our digits, or as many digits as we can cross, because it's quite difficult to cross your toes. Uh, and seeing, seeing what we've got. That is a fox. That is a fox there. In the reeds, that shadow. I couldn't spot him, but I'm confident that that's him. The only other thing it could be is maybe the body that we shot already, but I don't think it is. Right, okay. Get in. Uh, okay. Now, where is he? Or oh, where was he? There. Okay, I need to I need to mark out in my head where he is. Okay, so we've got the main branch coming up and then the sub branch coming down. Has he gone? I no longer see his little shadow. And then okay. Oh my god, this is so much harder like this, because everything's a different colour. Hang on. Okay, so it's these two at the back which are dark coloured.
Like it just it looks so different that I really can't make it out. There. I don't think I got a kill from that, so it was probably all a waste of time, but we did our best. I'm surprised that that fox actually didn't run away when we shot his friend. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's changed colour to me, so I don't think we got a kill there. But it was literally a shot in the dark, so... Yeah, we tried. But I'm not gonna fret about scaring animals off now. Because even if there's a fox here, I don't want to shoot it when I'm not in the tent. And I don't think I can get him back to the tent, so... We can run. Oh, hello. There is a pheasant nearby, apparently. It's a shame that we can't call pheasants. They're very tricksy, tricksy boys. It may have just been that body, actually, that I was seeing. It's in about the right place. Yeah, it's possible I shot a dead fox, but that's fine. Uh, what we can maybe do is think about where I can put a tent that might look out over this area. Right, here we go. The fox body. Hey there, friend. Oh, it was a quite clean shot. I'm fairly happy with the shot, considering the distance as well. Yeah, so where... What's in purple over here? Where can I put down a ground blind? That will have good coverage of this area. Oh, blimey, hello. You are very close, aren't you? I'm actually going to wander over here and see if I can pop him. Because that would be lovely. Because the problem with that area is the reeds, right? There'll be foxes there, but the chances of us ever seeing them are going to be so slim. Now this is a pheasant feed zone, I'm guessing. It's going to be tricky to get to. Uh, even trickier to shoot, because the thing about pheasants is you have to shoot them while they're not on the ground. But obviously, when they're not on the ground, they are moving. Potentially quite fast. Also, I'm being thwarted by... Call of the Wild and its bloody hills. Oh, there's fallow deer over here as well, okay. I can't see bloody anything, of course. This is Hirsch, after all. But it's Hirsch and it's night time. Neither of those helps. I think I may have scared off the deer. I think that may have been the sound of the deer running away. If we're lucky, the pheasant might still be here. Although, we haven't heard a warning call from either. So you never know. I 
There's also feed tracks for more than one animal here. So this could be a zone for both. They were literally so close I could hear their footsteps. And yet now... Yeah, this is a feed zone for both. Now, they are nowhere to be found. Those are footsteps. on the other side of this tiny little rise. Come on, come over here! Please! Yeah, 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 we know. I'm very scary. No, nope, that's them running away. God damn it! This bit of hill is... Very tricksy. Ah, oh, look, they might have been in this open space, perhaps. Blast. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go back to what we were doing originally. Which is trying to figure out where we can set up a, a ground blind. Although, actually, there's no point doing that, because I don't have any ground blinds on me. So, we're going to head over to this place and see if there's any need zone there anymore. Because it seems like there might not be anymore. Two out of three. We're so close. We're so nearly there. But it might still be like another day. Uh, actually, I'm also not going to go to that one first. I'm going to go to this one first. Because I know that it's better to go to this one and then approach the other one from the back. When I went there before... There were two foxes there, so I'd expect that the need zone would, would have thought that there would be two foxes and wouldn't get despawned after one fox. So it really is a puzzle and a mystery. Really is a puzzle and a mystery. Both of them at once. Oopsies. Sometimes when I tab out it, it full screens the window. Oh, and this hill! I hate hills in this game so much! Who designed these? The, the reason why I hate it is because it, it's really immersion breaking that I can't get up the hills. Because I feel like if I was scrabbling down on my hands and knees like I am, that would make it a lot easier to get up the hill. But instead to get up the hill, I have to run and jump and make boatloads of noise and sometimes not even succeed. Like, I need, a, I need a clamber button to get up and over an obstacle without making noise when crouching. It's never going to be added. But it's what the game needs. To minimise frustration when travelling. Ow! 
And as mentioned previously, it really does need the option to fast travel just straight into your ground blinds and stuff without spooking it things. Because having to fast travel to 200 meters away and then sneak across the intervening ground is such a really stupid and bizarre system. Oh, ow, oh, ow. First one is in sight. I'll eventually click on the right button. Uh... Keep an eye out in case there's any foxes around. Is it gone eight yet? Yeah, it is. It's well gone eight actually. So this is the time when I think the feed zone that was here used to be sort of about here-ish. This is when it should be active if it still exists. <laughs> There's apparently loads of bison down there somewhere, I guess on the lake shore. Kind of a shame that we're going in the opposite direction. Right. Definitely doesn't look like there's any evidence of foxes nearby. That's it. Oh god, I hit the bloody dismantle button. Which, again, should not be bounced to the same key as the enter button. Or if it should, should be on like the other side of the tent to the enter button. But there we go. Whoever said that you had to design your game sensibly? Confident there's no foxies out there. There's bison tracks. I'm fairly happy not to investigate over that way further. If there's not need zones here anymore. Oh, blimey, hello, who's that? It's a red deer. Okay, I'm going to pass on the red deer for now, just to see if there is a fox need zone down here. Because if there is and it's active, I don't want to scare things off of it. You know? But yeah, if, if all these need zones are gone, then I can potentially dismantle, like, all of this tent and these three things. Happy E, like, my life depends on it to try and identify that call. I mean, I'm assuming it's from a red deer. 
But, uh, will the game let me do that? Not on your life. Not on your life. I previously might have been here. Oh. Something coming this way. The red deer. Okay, well, there's no evidence of Fox Newtons. So, I'm gonna see if I can call him in. Shoot him as soon as I'm in this. I'm trying to shoot anything out of this bloody window is impossible! in this direction somewhere. And of course, the track that you leave gives us no directional indication. Okay, there we go, there's some directional indication for you. Blood. Now I was a little worried that the uh, the two four three wouldn't really have what it takes to bring down a red deer. Now I was shooting at extremely close range. Oh, that's a male. Love to have you as well. Who's that? There we go. There's an over there. I forgot to check what range you were at. About 150 meters. Why are you not spotted? Please be spotted. That was a terrible shot. That was two terrible shots. That was atrocious. Um, that was appalling, honestly. Right, we're gonna mark where I saw him. Follow this blood, which probably won't go too far, I'm guessing. Yeah, look, there we go. Yeah, that first shot was a complete fluff. Uh, I don't think he's even gonna die. If he does, it'll be from the second shot, which might have hit the gut somewhere. Okay. Now we need blood. Those are fox tracks. No, those are both no organ hits. Unbelievable. So foxes do come through this way. Uh, I have no real way of knowing where this deer has actually gone. Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay, that was our run. So this is after I shot him. Somewhere out in the dark there is a male and a female.
Oh, hello. Female, female, male. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to try again. That was a much better shot. Where exactly were you? No organs hit! What? That was like a bang on shot! Am I at some funny zeroing? No? What? How did I hit no organs? Okay, well. I have no idea how that happened. But it looks like we're not getting any deer today. Because I've only put one in this, I'm going to see if I can follow him up. And I will probably leave the other one, because I'm guessing it's going to take us a while to follow this guy, and the other one will be long gone. Um, I'm not very happy about that. Oh, blimey, I think the sky just did something. Oh, yeah, okay. The sky is not very happy. Maybe I was right. Maybe the 243 doesn't have it in it to, to down a, a red deer. I mean, my loadout is already... Kinda heavy. Where the hell did this deer go? I could have sworn I saw another track just ahead and then it disappeared. Oh, it's over there, okay. Where is it? It's disappeared again! It was here! Because we're looking for a live deer, it's significantly more awkward. Oh, that's a female. They are around here. They are fleeing as well, though, which isn't helpful. They're a female. Someone's coming towards me. Oh my god. Okay, the, red, the males obviously wandered further off up that way when I wasn't looking. That's fine. We will do our best. It could also have been a different male, I suppose. There's no reason why all red deer males have to be the same. Given that there were foxy tracks in the area, I'm not going to dismantle all of those tents, etc., just yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, this guy actually seems to have gone off this way, so maybe he was different to the other ones. Aww. I'll tell you what I also don't like, the number and organisation of tracks here on this hillside. It looks like they've doubled back on themselves. You're all fleeing every time I see you. What's up with that? Oh, I did not want to fall off there. Oh, you... Horrible game sometimes, I swear. Please let me up the hill! Oh, are you serious? I'm just going further and further down. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you can rap all you want. Okay, I don't think we're getting this deer now. Like, every animal in a 500 meter radius is running away as we speak because we can't get up the hill because it's... I give up! I give up! I'm not following him anymore. Ah! Ugh, what an awful... awful bloody hill! Ramps and paths! Make ramps and paths in this game! Crying out loud. Look, how am I supposed to get up here? I have to go all the way around here, I guess. It's just nightmarish, isn't it? Just absolutely nightmarish. How hard would it be to implement a climb button? Save everyone the hassle and not scare off all the animals. <sighs> right. Calm, Dizzy, calm. Uh, okay, what other missions have we got? We can go back to the Schoenfeld straw fields, although I'd rather do that in the day, I must admit. We can go to the turbines. What way is the wind blowing currently, actually? It's blowing east by southeast, which is the way it's always, always, always blowing. I don't know why the, the wind has such a bias to the east, but it does. It's really annoying. Uh, Berndorf Canyon again. Ritterstein. How was the hurt bison downed with a handgun? Well, we're not gonna do that. Let's go here. Spot a red deer, identify a call from a red deer. That's up this way. Oh, we still got plenty of. Um, hunting pressure in the area, so let's not. Let's go to Ritterstein, look out for boar. In the meantime, so let's start from here, we'll head over towards this bridge. And then we'll head up to this lookout point. I think. That's probably a pretty good scheme for an easterly wind. <sighs> Excuse me. This game always makes me sleepy. I say it every stream. I used to say every stream this game is beautiful and then the pixel problem started and now it no longer feels like a very beautiful game. Right. Okie dokie, off we go. New area, hopefully some fewer frustrations. <sighs> Excuse me, very sleepy. How long ago was it? Well, I was talking about how, like, oh yeah, I'd love to go for five hours. <laughs> no, I'm half asleep. One hour in. Is that mountain in there? Hmm. 
perhaps it must be. I'm not sure what mountain it might be. What way am I looking on the map? Well, we must be downhill towards the river. So I guess it's somewhere like up here. No, it's further away than that. It might be like here. I think it is this big background mountain. Can I... thank you. Oh, hello. We have a sleepy sleepy zone. Or some sleepy sleepy animals. Uh, remember, we are looking for a boar, and actually we're nowhere near where we need to be looking for this boar either. <laughs> we're mostly just road tripping at this point. Which is fine. It's really infuriating how much an easterly wind messes up with like every mission location versus every tent and uh location. Oh, I was going to put up a new ground blind. I forgot. We'll come back to it. We'll do it during the daytime. I can have a slightly better idea of what can actually be seen from a given vantage point. And yes, that does mean that it's going to be at least another stream of having this mission on our minds at some point. Oh, that sounded like a pheasant. Although it didn't come up in the overworld, so I have no idea of finding out where the pheasant might be. God, I don't like this glitch either as it goes purple the sky as I as I take off my goggles. That's not good at all. Uh, there are boar tracks here. It's a shame we're not in the area that we're supposed to be hunting for. Oh, blimey. Because we're covering new ground for the first time, we can expect it to be a little less animal dense than an area we'd already been to. But I mean, you have to go everywhere for the first time once. Ah, hello! Animal, animal, animal. What are you? A fox? I think a fox doing meat zone activities. Feeding zone activities to be specific. plan is basically to hide in this tree and call for it. See if I can get him to stop and slow down, or better yet, to come towards me. Oh, 
Apparently there's a hide over there. That's nice, and yes, I know I've gone a little bit out of my way. But I don't mind. Get the tree, get the tree. I'm actually going to be able to see anything from this tree. Or is it too downhill? Might be too downhill. So it might still be too far away. I'm going to go for that tree. The uh, the agricultural fields are the saving grace of Hirschfelden. Because they are big like animal traps with lots of deep zones and really good sight lines. They are, I guess, sort of the equivalent of Leighton's lakes and rivers. Because Hirschfelden's water systems, you can't see bloody anything on them. Ever. Oh look, there's another tree in front of this tree. How helpful. Stop. Right, Foxy Loxy, where are you? There you are. That might have been the head, possibly, but we did get him. That's the important thing. Ooh, you have a dark red coat. Very pretty. I know that was actually a really good shot, which I'm quite happy about. Amazing. Okay. Back on track. Let's go via that, I guess. That's why wouldn't we? Oh no, there's the geese. I forgot that when I was saying how great the, the, the fields are is that actually they have a dark side, they attract geese. And the mist is starting to really settle in now, I can sort of see it in my binoculars. So expect all of those pixie problems that I was talking about earlier to get significantly worse. Thank you. 
I have a particular problem with the geese, besides the fact that the noise is awful, which it is, is that you, you can never tell if they're grounded or flying. And if they're flying, they're completely useless to you. So they're making all this noise sort of for nothing. And it's really weird, because when a Canada goose is flying overhead, normally, you don't hear them. You know, like, I live in Britain. We have plenty of Canada geese flying around all the time. You never hear them. The developers did not have to add in the incessant, horrible squawking. You know, it's not like it's... Oops, I accidentally opened the, the chat field, as I want to do. You know, it's not like the developers had to add it in for authenticity's sake. And it doesn't serve any purpose. It is just there to annoy you. Shut up. I think I spent my first few Hirschfeld and Screams streams, sorry, just screaming at Geese. Oh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, oh, stretching. <laughs> Someone's been over there, I'm guessing quite a while ago. Ooh, someone's been feeding. That's much better news. What is that? Is that a... a dropping? I don't know also why it's like flashing out of sync with everything else. That's really odd. It's like all of the feed zones flash and then that flashes. But part of the reason why I'm going towards it is because if it isn't a dropping track, it might be a fox feed zone track. So this is boar. Uh, it's finished recently. Lots of pigs. This is a feed zone pack uh, track. Fantastic. Oh, hello. And that is the feeder. has unfortunately heard me long before I could ever see her. And is probably going to completely evade me as a result of that. I mean, I probably will not see her at all, actually, because she's going to be in there somewhere. And the foxes are so small, but they're just completely invisible in any sort of brush by me. Oh, hello. Please give me the spot! Oh, you horrible thing! Ah! Just hammering the E button to no avail. Where is it? It's like just beneath my sightline. What is it? Where did it go? It, it vanished. Where the hell did that fox go? What? It was right there. What? I guess it ran off. I'm not convinced that it was rendered in while it was doing so. Uh, but yeah, 
Maybe that's why I was having trouble spotting it, because the game was doing something funky. Weird. Very weird. Okay, well, that was odd. I guess we're going to go and have a look at this little checkpoint thing. But yeah, like, look at this. There's absolutely no way you could see a fox in that. Wild boar land. The surrounding area is believed to be home to approximately 80,000 wild boar. Why thank you for telling me that. I'm sure that was very important information for me to know. I'm a little cross about that fox, because he was definitely close enough and moving slowly enough that I could have shot him. Or her, if I've been able to get the, the highlight off with the spotting mechanism. Hmm. Long gone now. Now we're in the weird sort of position of being on the road, which I don't normally do in this game. I tend to stick off of the paths unless I'm quad biking. Uh, but we've got a sort of 150-200 meters on the road. Just kind of wandering past all these fields that Nearly midnight. This would be a surreal experience if it was in the real world. Oh, and it's raining again. I like the rain. The rain is good in this game, apart from the fog. Hello? I just had something there, really briefly. I don't know what it was. I also don't know exactly where it was. It was only for a second. Well, even for a second. This is partly also what do we think it was? I'm gonna guess Fox. <laughs> partly because it's night, and partly because they're the hardest things to see, and anything bigger than a fox, I'd probably be able to see now that I'm actively looking for it. I'm not exactly sure where it was, which doesn't help.
Like it was through some trees in amongst some corn, but that is every direction. From here. And I don't even know if it was in the trees that I saw it or like in a bit behind. Or where? Hmm. Okay, well, I think you've got the way with it this time. Because I can't see you. And you haven't responded to my caller. I'll squeak the deer caller just in case. Because they're also pretty small. It could also have been a pheasant. I don't really know what pheasants are doing at this time of day. <laughs> Because, you know, foxes, sure, they're out and about doing foxy things. Pheasants? Who knows? They could be doing anything. They could be having a drink? I don't know off the top of my head if I've ever found a pheasant drink zone. So maybe they're drinking somewhere? I'd expect them to be roosting, based on the fact that I've read Danny the Champion of the World, and in that the pheasants roost at night. <laughs> uh, that is the only reason that I have to base that on. Uh, and I don't think I've ever found the pheasant sleep zone? Again, if there was proper like map filtering abilities, then this would be so much easier. But no. We are left without such things. Oh my god, look at that mist. You can barely see the blooming bridge. It's 30 meters away. The road is getting very soggy. This does remind me of several hikes from my youth. So it's getting dark, everything is wet and horrible. And you're just sort of mindlessly strolling past endless farmer's fields. Uh, the wind is turning southeast. Which is actually to my favour, because I'm planning to head northwest once we cross this bridge. <sighs> From the bridge, can we see anyone? Oh, This is a very different river! This is a river full of reeds and stuff. This is more like a Leighton River that you might actually be able to cross. And have animals cross as well. Hello there. Roe deer over there somewhere. If you're looking for friends, I can pretend to be your friend for a while. At least for long enough that I can shoot you. <laughs> uh, this game really makes you into a psychopath. And I'm not even the most psychopathic Call of the Wild player. Not by a long shot. Now where were you? Uh, you must have been over there somewhere. Don't think you've fallen for my trap. I think you were too clever for me. Which is no bad thing, from your point of view at least. Let's have a look over this here bridge, or well, this here side of the bridge. Nope, okie If the, the screen size sort of gets a bit wonky when I'm tabbed out. Uh, I'm not always trying to be tabbed out, sometimes I'm just sort of uh, picking up on various notifications going off in the background, but hopefully you guys can't hear. It's you again. 
Maybe he did fall for my trap. And I just foolishly wandered away. Although, pfft, this wall of just pale green, there could be anything hiding in that. Rodia, hello? I this is an exercise of utility. Right, where are we headed? Somewhere over this way-ish. That way. 700 meters. That might take us up until sort of nearly two-ish, I reckon. Ugh. That will reveal a lot of this fieldy area to us, I guess. That's currently all dark. These geese are annoying. Do they fly more at night? I wonder. Or is it just because I've been going through quite a lot of um, fields territory and I'm planning to go through even more so it's not likely to get any better. So I'm sure at night previously I've seen them mostly down on the ground. In fact, that's the only time I've really seen them down on the ground, apart from when I brought them there. Oh, oh, oh. oh excuse me while I stretch. Oh. Ow. I'm in game. About one o'clock. Uh, about midnight, even. Don't know how I managed to read that and say about one o'clock. Not my finest hour. Um, might do a shorter stream today. Bearing in mind I was talking about stream lengths and how putting out loads of hours streaming to no one isn't going to help me. Which is, again, is silly. It's really daft. Uh, but there you go. Oh, we do have footprints coming up. So at least some comforting reminder that animals do pass this way. I'm assuming we're about to get out onto a field. We've actually only got a couple of fields to go on the way, really. So that 700 meters isn't really that much in a way. It's like three fields in a bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Meh! Bang. If I hadn't been in a rush, that probably... Oh, he's lovely dark brown colour gold. That probably would have been a bow shot. But, uh... I was in a rush and... Didn't particularly fancy trying to faff around with a bow in the dark, because that can be quite, quite a faff. Hello. Who's there? Pheasant. Okay, Pheasant in the dark is probably a no-go. But I'll have a look for him. Just in case. Because the thing is, you've got a spot to get the highlight so you can actually see the damn thing. Switch to pistol and get him to fly. I think that noise was him flying away. Although I didn't see where. I didn't see him at all. But I think he's gone now. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, you, you've got a spot. Switch to pistol. And then get him to fly. Yeah, he's flown over there now. All in, like, the time... 
that it takes for the, the highlights to not fade. And even then including that, you still have to actually hit the thing, which is no mean feat when you're trying to shoot a bird in the air. You know, when I've been hunting, like, geese or ducks or whatever, I just don't bother taking shots at them in the air, because I know I can't hit that. Not without a shotgun at close range. Which is, of course, I guess why people use shotguns for, for bird hunting. Hey, I'm not claiming to have discovered anything revolutionary here. But I do still feel like... Well, you sh I do still feel like a sense of accomplishment when I hit a bird in the air, even with a shotgun. Because it's a tricky business. Oh, apparently a pheasant walks this way. The pheasants at least do spend a decent amount of time on the ground. Oh, hello! Geese. At a hundred meters ish. Now, I'm guessing this is the maximum zero, 75 meters. Okay. So we might struggle trying to pop off a goose at twice that distance. On the other hand, there's quite a lot of them there. That's a tier 3 goose. That's a tier 3 goose. You're bigger. You're a tier 4 goose? Hello, I didn't even know they got that high. You're also fairly close. So you're going to be the one we go for. I don't think I got any of them there. No, I did not. Okay. Well, we gave it a shot. Actually, we gave it lots of shots. Um, yeah, I don't think I could have covered that open ground. I suppose actually I could have tried the... Uh, no, I don't have the rangefinder, never mind. I suppose I could have tried that with the rangefinder both sides, but I couldn't. Yeah, the gooses are elusive. Um, like, I guess I could have tried crawling the 75 meters to get in range. Might still have been a bit rough. But, uh, you know, it's like... You miss all of the sh shots you don't take. Hello. Now. What are you above slash below slash under? Can we tell? I can't, so I'm just going to give you a go. I don't think I hit it right. Well, apparently there's a pheasant right near here. If I see it, I'll pop it. No, okay. No pheasants, cool. Right, okay. I don't think I killed that, unfortunately. I think that was another dizzy duff shot. It might be a bit of a day for them. Oh, I ran straight past that. Hello! Star Hunting Tours. Family owned, started by Tressler's father, Hans Tressler, in 85. 
that's nice, I guess? Question mark? No, he's not, he's not died. We goofed. I think... It feels like the, the, the aim wobble is bigger than it used to be. It might just be that I'm using different guns. But it feels bigger. Like, the sort of the, the loopy motion is quite extreme. Even when you're, like, holding your breath to, to minimise aim wobble. It's pretty bad. And a 243 again, it's not the most powerful gun out there. For taking down anything above boxes. Like it's okay on the class fours. So I'd expect it to be okay on the fellow deer. So obviously it doesn't account for a bad hit. Yeah, more pheasant prints. Maybe wandering around like no one's business. It's just a shame I never see him. Sorry, I thought I heard footprints. I guess not. Yeah, that fellow there has definitely survived that encounter. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I hear them. I just didn't hit him well. And the follow up shot was nothing. There's blood. Let's examine it to see exactly how we hit him. I'm guessing it's going to say no organ set, but I think even from a non-vital wound we'd have dropped him by now. So look, partly I want to find the bodies, just so I can find out where I hit him. Because I don't know exactly how it went wrong, you know? Like, it felt wrong. But was it too high? Was it too low? Was it just off to one side? I'll never know unless I find a deer. So he has gone in this direction. So we can follow these tracks for a bit, at least. Just on the off chance. We stumble into him again. There really needs to be an indicator of the wind on the map. Like, how are you supposed to know where to fast travel to if you can't see where the wind is when you're figuring it out? Oh, hello, who's that? Two more fallow deer. Do you happen to have a male in your company? Because that would be really convenient. To get in a bush. Oh, you do, he's back there. I can't see him in the dark. He's kind of just over the crest. Come on! Come back to me! 
I don't even know if he was the same one. I need to get the spot off to find out, to see what his health level is. You're a red deer! Okay, fine, I'll shoot you instead. Right. Okay, so the first shot was to the heart, the second shot was just to the flesh. You see what I mean about the 243 not really being up to it? Like, there was no penetration on that second shot at all. But hey, we got something. I think it was the same male. Because I think those were tracks going like back on themselves. No sign of him now, though. And not what's chance of there being either with this fog. Well, maybe not. These are old. So as long as he's going the same way as I am, I will keep following him. God, these knives are causing useless. <laughs> I mean, they're not useless. They're Still more useful than the day vision goggles. Well, that's a neat zone over there. Let's go pick that up. See if there's any sign of that red deer. One of these sets of tracks is the male. You just have to find which one. Is it you? No? Is it you? No. Ah, it's the blood. Well, how's that red deer? Oh, he's south of me, so he's smelt me. This is bloody good of him. I've not even come close to seeing him. Which is, of course, why I'm trying to travel into the wind. Oh, there you are. Hello. Right, those were mostly on target shots. Question is, will they have penetrated? Oh, well, yeah, they did, because I was running into some. Uh... No, he didn't get very far at all, actually, did he? You looked fairly good as well, actually. Oh, it's a diamond! Da -da -da. I didn't even notice. Oh my god, so the first one went into his neck. 
which just about counted as a thing, because this one just went into his shoulder. Oh! Oh, I nearly messed up the diamond and I didn't even know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well. I'm not mad that I didn't. Woo! Uh, let's hit Y to taxidermize. Amazing. Gorgeous. I thought, even looking at you, like, oh, that's a good one. I should have checked the difficulty. Uh, I don't know what I would have done diff differently, per se. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have bothered with the follow-up shot for fear of hitting his face. Uh, woo! Well, that was pleasing. I might actually have tried the bow kill, to be honest, although maybe that would have done even worse. Maybe I did the best thing I could have done by just not even bothering. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, okay, what I would have done is I would have tried to get a side on shot. Actually, that's what I would have done. Oh! Oh, exhilarating! What a good find! I feel like the, the diamonds I found on this map have been disproportionately red deer. By which I mean to say, they might all be red deer. Hello. Someone's nearby. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Oh no, we're on another hill. With the fellow deer on the other side of the hill. Oh no. History is repeating itself. I don't know where they are! If I knew where they are, I could at least walk towards them. But I just know they're somewhere over here. Where are you? I think he's left, but I didn't see him once. Oh, that's so frustrating. Like, genuinely, where are you? It feels like you are right here. I feel like I should have been able to see you. This is a different male, anyway. This is not the same male who I shot before. Footsteps over there. There's no hiding spot. There. But there. Give me the spot. You're a female, but that's fine. Still there, I think. I just had a spot animal prompt. I think it's gone now. The other problem is going to be finding out which of these tracks are the right ones. New blood? Oh, there's a body over there, never mind. 
make that my job easier. We are piling up the kills here. We found a bit of a, a fauna-rich region. You gotta be careful not to stack them up too high. Uh, oh, I love these spotty coat. Fallow deer. Single lung, not double lung. Hmm. Yeah, it's the 243. I'm gonna have to fix my kit differently next stream, I reckon. Alright, and then. From here, we're heading into Ritter's Time. We're hoping to actually find a boar. Uh. I guess I'll set a waypoint for like there-ish. I'll mostly be going along the trail. And also I don't like running. Partly because we've got so much hunting fish nearby that we don't necessarily want to shoot too much near here anyway. Oh my god, those geese! I wonder if you can effectively hunt geese by just taking pot shots at them from the top of the tower. That would be nice. There they are. Grumble, grumble. Uh, right. Survey point. New locations added to map. Oh my god, look at the mist! It looks weird in that view. From above, the mist looks really weird. Oh my god, there's a house! There's a a fast travel point right here. Hang on. That looks so weird! Uh, right. I can't jump off the top of this one like I can in... Yeah, but there's an animal over there. <laughs> it's funny that you can like make that out from this distance. <laughs> uh, sadly, I can't get it to to spot. I'm not even getting a prompt for it. But like, look, like that's an obvious dark point, a dark pixel. Even when you zoom back out, that's hilarious. Uh, anyway. Down the steps we go. I can't believe we took, like just missed that house. It's not even in obvious position to put a house. I'm surprised. You know, because normally they're like at the end of roads. Like if there was going to be a house up here, oh jeebus! Come here, little fox. Come fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. Where are you, little critter? I think he's wandered off quite sensibly before I could get within eye shot. He's, uh, yeah, he was down here. No. no idea where he's got to. The thing with the foxes, they hear you long before you can detect them. And you've got to 
Oh, hello. Amazing. Astonishing. I was about to say, you gotta like really get a hustle on. Uh, to get to where they were before they're too far away. Lovely silver orange fox. Fantastic, good place. Shot! All in all, very happy. Uh, I am going to run for this place now because we've got so much pressure on the map. Uh, and I might call it here, to be honest. I know it's been a really short stream. But uh, no one's about. So I don't feel too many qualms. I feel like we've had a productive day. Uh, if we want this quest, we can pick it up again from this outpost next time. Fire. Boing. Nice house. And... Flagpole! Oh, we have a BG! Hi there, BG! Are you saying hi because I said I was about to end, or have you just coincidentally arrived? Outpost. I was kind of hoping the fire would start going. You just joined. Ah, I was just sort of saying, oh, well, no one's here. I guess I'll, I'll uh, wrap up early. But if I have a BG, then I'm happy to keep going. I am fairly easily pleased in that regard. Okay, let's... Where are we going? This way. Oh, let's see if I need any more ammo first. Inventory. Ammo. Yeah, I need more 2 LRs, and I could probably do with more... Oh no, okay, that's these are the ones I'm using up to get onto these, aren't I? That's fine then. Don't need more of those, I'm good for everything else. Uh, we've had an interesting night in the game. Uh, popped a couple of foxes. Utterly failed on several different fallow deer, I seem to remember. Uh, got a diamond red deer that I was very pleased with. And discovered this utterly bizarre looking fog. Uh, BG says, just popping in to ask if you would had any good shots, got any good hunts, trophies. <laughs> Not enough to make up for the fact that I feel like I've been a bit of a klutz and a disaster overall. Especially seeing as the Diamond Red Deer I very nearly messed up. I got it in the throat instead of like, you know, organ like a normal person. Uh, yes, an ominous fog lake. See, it looked bizarre from, like, far away and up high. And I'd assumed, naively, that that was just because it was far away and I was looking at it from an odd angle. But now it's not that far away and it still looks bizarre. Big Bad BG says, throat shots are harder anyway, so those are the better shots. They are, if they're what you're <laughs> aiming to do. I'm going to go into the fog lake. I'm worried I might not come out again. Uh, <laughs> let it consume me. Okay, and uh, what's this as well? There's like steam coming from the ground. Have I walking into like a geothermally active area in, in Germany? <laughs> Does Germany have those? I didn't think it did. Uh, I'm also going to mark that as maybe the next place we're going to. Make sure you aren't in Yellowstone. Moderately. It's been perhaps 10 minutes since I saw a sign written in German. What is with this place? It's so strange! <laughs> 
Okay, the ominous fog lake is retreating as I as I come towards it. So I guess it, it stops being ominous weird fog and turns instead to whatever this is at a certain distance. What is going on? <laughs> I've never seen this before in this game. <laughs> it's so weird. This one seems to be sticking around as I get close. Hello? Are you toxic gas? Are you here to end my brief span upon this earth? Feels a bit like I've loaded into a horror game. You know, you're not wrong. Hello? It's very atmospheric! It's just the wrong atmosphere. <laughs> It's atmospheric for like a different game, or maybe a different map in this game. Oh, it's all, it's all disappearing now. It's now behind me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, BG, you're not wrong. Slenderman is exactly. Why is it coming from the ground? Am I being haunted by the ghosts of like all those Canada geese I killed? <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna go now. Leave the spooky field behind, with its weird gas. What's going on? <laughs> That's so mean, BG. I'd never be a Scrooge. I mean, I am extremely tight-fisted in every video game I play, but that's because of OCD and anxiety. Not because I'm a Scrooge. Oh, and the the evil fist, the evil fist, the evil mist, um, creeps up after me now that I'm leaving. Real spooky. He says the ghosts of Christmas, past, present, and future are gonna get ya. Oh, I don't want to be gonna get ya, especially not by a Christmas ghost in February. That's just thematically inconsistent. Oh, the rain has come. Will the rain wash away the fog? Will it make it worse? Who knows? Uh, where are we going after this? I guess, seeing as the wind is going now decidedly more south, we might head up to sort of the lake bit. Like up there. She says, though, it's a few months too late. You know what ghosts are like. <laughs> I actually don't know what ghosts are like. Uh, I've never met one in person. Although my former housemate did used to believe quite strongly in ghosts. Which I found odd, because she was otherwise... Like... I don't know if devout is the right word, but like a strongly practicing Christian. She wasn't like a, one of those weird, like... Send you to hell, Christians. It's not that kind of, of devout. But, you know, like she attended church, she did stuff with her church, she used to be in the church choir and stuff, and she believed in ghosts. It's just like, this is totally inconsistent with this other bit of your character. You're, you're just chatting shit. You mean you haven't met ghosts, BG? I'm shook. She didn't have to perform an exorcism. No, I don't think that she would have had the wherewithal or the exuberance to do an exorcism. I think if she tried to exorcise a ghost and it would have just said, like, nah fam to her, she would have been like, alright, fair enough, There's nothing more I can do. See, this is this. This is the normal fog that I'm used to in this game. This sort of kind of hazy shapes drifting across my screen. Not whatever was going on in just that one particular field. In all of in all of fake Germany, just that one field has spooky mist. <laughs> Uh, 
perfect for the Halloween episode, also in February. Uh, BG says, Ah, fake German, you must be in Bielefeld then. That would explain the mist. Unfortunately, I do not know what thing you are referencing, or possibly what joke you're making, as I do not speak enough German to understand what Bielefeld means, apart from that Feld is probably field. Uh, it's a joke that Bielefeld, a town in Germany, doesn't exist. Sort of like that Sweden place. Is that a, a running joke among Germans then? That, that Bielefeld is a, a mythical, a mythical place on the map. What were they called? They used to have a special name for like places people put on maps to see if they were being copied by other cartographers. And I can't for the life of me think what it was. You don't know you're not German? Then how do you know about Bielefeld? Oh, okay. You've seen it online. <laughs> I'm so used to having Chaskor come into this chat with like obscure facts about Norway, but I'm just like happy to take it for granted that you know lots of obscure facts about Germany. Um... Honestly, the spooky fog was easier to see through than the regular fog. Uh, although, I do wonder if the spooky fog has taken away all of the animals, because I haven't seen one in a while. Maybe you enter the spooky fog and you come out in a version of the game that has nothing to hunt, thus rendering it pointless. Or thus rendering your gaming experience pointless. Uh, BG says, I wish there'd be plenty of cool facts I could share. Yeah, I mean, how honestly, how dare you come into this chat and not have something interesting and entertaining for me personally, the streamer? Um, uh, B says since medieval slash early modern Germany, late 1700s, 1800s, it's very interesting. Is it? See, I the only thing I know about German history is the 20th century. No, don't don't people leave? I was kidding. I promise. Um, yeah, is is the twentieth century, and then a tiny little bit about like the Reformation era, specifically in terms of religious history, because all of that was hello going on in Germany at the time. Come on, little foxy. Come on. Oh, you are downwind of me, so you probably detected me from quite far away in Scarpet. That's what I would do if I was you. Are you Fox Prince? No, you're Deer Prince. Uh, you're Deer Prince. Where's the fox? Little fox? Not there somewhere. Do not think I'm going to get this fox somehow. Those are foxy prints, they're heading in the wrong direction. That means the fox is already trying to leave. Take a pot to diddle hit it. If I can't even hit it with a well-aimed shot, what chances do I have with a pot shot? Plus there's a hill between me and it at the moment. Uh... <laughs> uh... I took a pot shot at the fox earlier actually. Uh I managed to claim I managed to claim the second out of three on my uh 
quest active, hang on. Second out of three on this quest, then I saw a dark shape through me night vision binoculars hiding in the reeds. And I was like, it won't let me spot you. So I'm going to try and figure out where you are in relation to like the tree branches and then just shoot there. <laughs> it took me like five minutes to set up this shot and then I don't think I hit anything at all. <laughs> it was a disaster. Uh, no, this fox has obviously wandered off somewhere in the deep underbrush and rocks and other visual obstacles. Like say over there, for example. He says, hills aren't real, they can't block your shots. I mean, the auras around trees are solid enough to block my bullets, so I think hills are probably solid enough to block bullets. Although it would actually be kind of funny if it turned out the ground was actually just bulletproof, uh, was actually just, uh, like, transparent to bullets, that would be really funny. Oh, I have no idea where you are. You're... Very deliberately staying downwind at me, so I'm never going to get close. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Ah, but you, on the other hand, you're a fool. Oh, God, that net going back was just uncomfortable to watch. Uh, BG says, just not shooting hard enough. I mean, I suppose you're not wrong, exactly. Like, I guess, yeah, if I had a powerful enough weapon, I could penetrate through a hill and come out the other side. I don't, I dread to think exactly how powerful that weapon would need to be. Oh, look, there, there are some little foxy prints wandering away. He ran off that way. Um... Hi there. See now, lying down. Actually got the double lung on this one, which is nice. And away we go. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Ah, sleepy times. Always sleepy when playing this game. Yeah, look, he was setting off at a run well before I was over this way. Oh, we're in a bit of a, an awkward place in terms of, I guess, the foliage and stuff that's over here. I wonder if the shading, like the orange versus the dark shading, is supposed to indicate foliage, like it does with these fields. Because it doesn't indicate contours in the fields, because the fields are often very slopey but they look just kind of matte one colour. So maybe this is supposed to be indicating something, although I couldn't tell you what. Is it light around the edges of the waterways? Not really. But then, is there really any less foliage around the edge of the waterways? I guess not. Don't mind me wetting to myself. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Oh! Aye. Careful! Could have turned the ankle. He just says, could just be a visual thing on the map because of the nearby colours. Hmm, true. Right, who do we have? Are you bison by any chance? Yes, you're bison, you're going in the wrong direction. You're going the way I've just come from. That doesn't help me. He says, like that, actually brighter, our brains make it seem brighter. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean.
I mean, the, the maps in Call of the Wild have always left a little bit to be desired for me. Like, I really want them to indicate a bit more in terms of foliage cover, etc. It would be nice to know where the clearings are. Because, like, I can look at this and see the fields, and, like, those are nice clearings. But what about, I don't know, over here? Are there clearings here? Oh. We are looking ostensibly for pigs as we wander through this bit. That's what our, our current mission is. Well, not our current mission, but uh, this mission that we're actually doing. Pidgey says, looks like it should have a little bush thing on the map to go tall grass slash foliage here. Yeah, exactly. Or like a different map player that has like a color coded key for terrain type. That would be useful as well. You know, just just something to give me a clue. Uh, is that a sleep zone? Yes, that is a sleep zone. Is anyone sleeping on it? I don't think so. Oh, hello, hello. We've got a little... there. I guess you must be on this side of the hill, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to spot you. So I hope that there is a clear line between me and you. Oh, nope, I guess there wasn't. <laughs> there must have been a tree or rock somewhere. Or maybe a hill. How did I see this deer when there was a hill here? Obviously my goggles are capable of penetrating hillsides. <laughs> <laughs> PG says I was a bit late on my call for it. Well, I went for it. We were of us of the same mind. Um, might have had his atlas working over the ridge. I guess it must have done. This is the the main problem with night vision. Really, is it's it's not quite night visiony enough <laughs> to make out important decisions like that. Uh, oh my god. There have been lots of boys resting here, though. Ah, okay, there's two need zones on top of each other, I see. So the roe deer come here and sleep from 8 till midnight, and then they sleep again from midnight till 4. Which is a, a perfectly healthy sleep schedule, if perhaps slightly too keen. Getting up at 4am, going to bed at 8. Rocks. Got very excited for a second there, thinking I'd just seen an animal. It was a rock. I tell you what, though, there must be some decent number of animals here. Because there's so many. Sleep spot. I wonder if there's also going to be a bison rest zone here. Given that the bison have been coming through. And if you ever want an animal to leave. Ah, oh, yeah, look. I've got a bison track active, and that's therefore a bison sleep zone. Cool. Yeah, if I was going to say, if you ever want to know what animal has completely devastated a local area with tracks, it's almost always going to be a herd of bison. Uh, 
Okay, I am going to be able to navigate that tiny little cleft in the hole. Uh, in the floor. Would have been awkward if I'd had to jump just to get out of it. It is midnight till four. So I'm kind of sad that these bison, I guess, must have moved on before I got here. That's a shame. I wonder though if they'll have gone down to drink. These are some weird rest zones, you think? I mean, they're a little bit hilly, I guess. Feels like they're popping up in the middle of fields. Or clearings, I guess. I see you've got to have like a certain amount of space to nestle down and rest if you're a big animal. Like, sure, a fox can rest in like a ditch by the side of a hedge, or even underneath the hedge. But uh, a bison, you really got to have room. And if you don't have room at the start, then you're definitely going to have room by the time you stand up, because you'll have just flattened everything. They did go down this way. Doesn't seem like they're still here. But I might they might have gone further along the river somewhere. If I'm really lucky. Then I'll be able to see them and shoot them. Oop, bonk. Now remember, we are here to shoot pigs, theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen hide nor hair of a pig since crossing the border. Right, okay, water's edge. Anyone on the shore? Anyone at all? I'm gonna say that seems like a firm no. No one is thirsty yet. I suppose it might be a bit early if everyone's supposed to still be asleep until four. It's now not quite four. They'll get up and move at four and not arrive down at the water's edge until at least sort of quarter half fast. Ah, welcome Boom Boom! Hi there! Uh, Big Bird BG said it's quarter past two! And really confused me for a second, I was like, no, it's it's definitely four. You mean in IRL. Um, you, you, you can't say too many silly comments, because even though I also am Saki all the time, I am also pretty thick, and so I won't understand that you're sucking me sometimes. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. That's fine, suck away. If I look bamboozled and confused on the internet for your entertainment, then so be it. That's what I signed up for. Uh, no, this is a very boring lake. Oh, hello! Okay, the lake has just unboringed itself. You are having a nap, but you have not revealed a rest zone to me. Okay, there's two of you there. This is the bigger one. BG says, I'm a little shit by nature, I ain't stopping just yet. Good, good. Right, uh, okay. The maximum range on this thing is 150. I do not think I can shoot a bison with this from 150 meters, so let's see if we can get to about 100 meters away and have a clear line of sight. I've been carrying around this bloody heavy gun for ages. Let's make it actually worth a while. I do really like that the uh, the thing actually displays what your zeroing is there. I think that's really nice. That's a really good touch. Uh, I 
now, I can't see those bison at all. Oh, there they are. Hang on. Wait. Oh, they're in the foliage. This is a problem. If I just spam it, okay, you're over there. Oh my god, they are impossible to see from here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because I don't know where I'm going to be able to see them from. I might be able to see them from there-ish. Though that is getting a little close. I might not have any other option. I'm worried I'm going to get round there, and then I'll only be able to see their back. Which isn't ideal. There's a lassie there. Where the hell are the two males that I saw before? There's another lassie there. Those are footsteps. But whose foot is stepping? Apart from mine, obviously. Oh, hello. Come on, where are you? There. No, you're a different female, but you're really close. Okie doke. What are we gonna do? We're gonna pull out the old bow. We're going to check what ammo we have in the bow. It's the wrong one. Currently zero for 40 meters. Come on, in this spot. Okay, you're there. Got no idea where the two males are. You're the biggest one we can see. You're almost exactly... Well, okay, you're a bit less than 60 meters, aren't you? I didn't hit it. I don't know what I did hit. I think I hit it that time. Stay still, stay still. Nope. I don't have an arrow knot somehow. Oh, he's gone. Okay. There they are. Fleeing. I can't tell when they're behind rocks. It's just too dark. that time. No eyes. Right, okie doke. 
somewhere around here. I did hit one properly. Just have to figure out where it went afterwards. Oh, it went off this way, did it? Okay. Oh! I think I hit the other one as well. Maybe. That looks like a double blob. Uh, oh, sorry, PG says, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of your stream. Good luck on your hunts. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for stopping by as well. Uh, obviously, you've brought me good luck with the old bison hunts. Because that went better than expected. Oh, look, there. Big old blood splat. was a decent enough bow shot, especially because he was on the move at the time. Not unhappy with that. Go find the blood splatter. Found the blood splatter, go find the cow. And maybe also find who I was making that noise. Oh, anyway, it's 4.33. The uh, sun might be coming up soon in game. Which is in many ways not ideal. Because I don't have my non-night vision binoculars on me. As we saw at the start. Uh, although I suppose I do need to rejiggle my kit for missions anyway. So we might just have to kind of take the L. Oh, there's a lovely open spot here. Is anyone in it? Uh, but yeah, take the L, fast travel, spend some time knocking about with... Ah, uh, storage lockers again. No, okay, whoever was here... It's not here anymore. Lead rate is apparently low. Oh, look, there he is. There's the body. Trophy. Where did we actually hit you? Oh, it was not a bad shot, and you were not a bad trophy either. That's quite pleasing. Considering I was more or less firing wildly. Uh, okay, where are we? We are right at the top of the map with the wind blowing south. That's not ideal, so let's... wander down to this outpost. And rejiggle our kit, because I've got that, uh... Got that bison quest for a handgun kill. Oh, excuse me. So let's see if we can find a handgun that will take on the bison. Oh. Okay, storage. Take everything off. Actually, we'll leave the bow. I'm fairly committed to having the bow. Uh, 
uh, take off that. We're gonna need the handgun, so I'm gonna leave that on. I know I'm going to use it. We're gonna try the bow sight. God, the thing is so heavy. This thing is like almost as heavy as some actual rifles. Imagine just having that on the front of your bow, weighing that much. Uh, and I'm going to say I want to have both lots of rifles on me as well. Wait, which ones are the rangefinders? These ones are the rangefinders, okay, good. Uh, Boomer says a handgun that can take on the bison sounds like it'd need to be heavy. It does, doesn't it? Uh, what is the biggest handgun I have? Probably this thing? 0.44? How much do your things? You only got to eight. Is there a different handgun that's bigger and heavier? No, you really are only up to eight. Okay. Uh, you're smaller, so you take on smaller gun, smaller game. Ah, do I need the Rhino? Rhino four five four. Yes, and I've been putting off buying the Rhino because I don't have the uh, bullets for it. That's why. But I guess now I sort of have to. Or we have this, which I guess is just a reskin. Join us as we celebrate five years of the Huntable of the Wild. This exclusive fifth anniversary hand cannon. Uh uses the same ammo. Okay, fine. We'll grab you because you're free and you're slightly prettier. Sundberg 454. Uh, we'll buy a small number of bullets for you until we can get the better bullets. Storage. Uh, 0.454 and Sunberg, 0.454. Okay, so that will take on. That will theoretically take on classes 4 to 9 on its own. Uh, in terms of rifles, I can never remember what you take. You take 2 to 4, but you take it badly. Um, I do love the wasp. The wasp it weighs 2.5. How much does the virant weigh? The wasp weighs the same as the virant. It's probably better. So let's go grab our wasp no, storage. Grab the 0.22H ammo. For that. Uh, do we have a site for that? We do, we have the Hyperion. Now, can I fit a proper rifle in? Uh, that weighs 5, that's a definite no. I can fit the point three oh three. Um, Just trying to think, what am I trying to take down? What have I got left? So you'll do one to two. You'll do nines. We've got then three, four, and six. Is there a class seven or eight on this map? I don't think there is. No, okay. Uh, that's gonna be the two, four, three again though, isn't it? And we've just been using the two, four, three and it's not great. Um, what's the seven mil magnum? It's the three hundred magnum. It does seven to nine? That's not helpful to us. Hang on, I'm gonna actually fire up uh, Firefox and have a look. <laughs> have a look for what we need.
if and only if my internet connection is working because it currently seems pretty slow. Okay. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, six, and nine as the classes. Um, it would leave us in a slightly awkward spot trying to shoot Rodia if I didn't bring the two, four, three. But if I did bring the two, four, three, it leaves us an awkward shot trying to sh trying to shoot. Uh, Red Deer. The Solokin MN 1890 is a 3 to 7 rifle. I feel like I've looked at that before. Do I own it? I do. Why have I not used this very much? What's the catch? You don't seem to have one. No, it might be your bullets, actually. You don't seem to have a, a high penetration bullet. That might be the catch. Uh, do I have one in storage? No, okay. Are there any other guns that do that range? No, okay. Well, I guess... Oh, there's the, the cap lock, of course. That does 3 to 8. That's why I haven't used the solid before. Although I can't fit this. So... Alright, you Solikin. Solikin, Solikin, Solikin. We've got different variants. We've got the kind of redwood. Brownwood, the one that looks sort of weird and speggledy. I don't know if that's supposed to be a camo pattern or if it's just like been used a lot. By the way, let's take Redwood. You weigh 3.5, so I will fit you. And let's grab a bunch of bullets. Storage. Solikin. And these are really weirdly named bullets. Sure. Okay, I think that should be everything. Everything that we need. So let's put our rangefinder bow sight on. Uh, weapons. Handgun on three. Coleman, I guess, on 5, Solikin on 1, Ammo, 2-2-H in the Wasp, Weird Ones in the Solikin, Handgun Bullets, uh, we'll put the Take All Comers Arrows in the bow for now, Sights, Hyperion, on those that will have it. Oh! Do you not take the Reflex Sight? Oh no! What Sight do you take? Take the ra red raptor reflex sight. Gotcha. There we are. Okay. Right, we're all sighted up. Oh my god, it's daytime now. <laughs> I spent so long faffing about it actually turned to daylight. Uh, right, you're loaded, fully loaded. We've never used you before. Um, I'm actually gonna. No, I'm not gonna test it out on the range. We'll just manage. I do need to change our binoculars over to the day binoculars. Hello, fantastic. Uh... Oh, yeah, because this is like a scope scope for a handgun. Yeah. Okay, everything's set up fantastically. Where are we headed? North. Which way's north? This way. Now, because we spent a lot enough time fucking about, hopefully anything that got scared off by us fast travelling will have uh, settled down. 
Oh no. Boomer says, don't worry, I regularly, regularly look up to find it's suddenly daytime too. Oh no. Oh dear. Still, I'd much rather be hunting in the daylight. Having watched me struggle all night long, you know, at least we'll have a chill last half an hour or so. And it's raining. It doesn't look very rainy, but it is apparently raining. You know, I do still long for, like, realistic weather that just when it rains, it rains for like a few days <laughs> instead of raining for a few minutes. Oops, I'm stuck on a tree. That can happen. Given that it is five o'clock, do I know what boar are likely to be doing at this time? Have I ever seen... Oh, yes, okay. Boar are going to be eating at this time. Actually, they're going to be eating over here right now. But only for the next half an hour. <laughs> That's not enough time for me to get there. That's really annoying. <laughs> Bother. Well, okay, actually, how far exactly is that? That is 600 meters. No, I definitely can't make that in half an hour in game time. Unless there's a thing nearby? Tent or anything? I haven't put one down there. Never mind. We've accidentally missed our boar opportunity. But maybe there'll be some hiding in the woods. Maybe this will be a boar track. It's a deer track. As we come over the hill, is there any more around? No. Uh, oh, there's a sleep zone. Go pick that up. Alrighty then, let's see who lives here. Dear, it's dear. I feel like we've seen plenty of fallow deer stuff today. More than I would normally. Normally fallow deer are kind of the uh estranged distant child that I know kind of exist, but you don't see very much of. That being said, have I actually killed any today? Or have I only taken really bad shots at them that have failed? Uh, codex, something about latest harvests. Yes, okay, I've killed one today. Just one, just one. Old Fox Trail.
Oh, actually, the real, like, strange stepchild of this map is the rabbits. Who you see lots of evidence of with their mounds, and you never see the rabbits themselves. will not be because it's not drinking time yet. Uh, do I know when the boars do drink? Bison, bison, oh dear, red fox, red fox, oh dear, red deer, oh dear. Rodia, oh Rodia, oh Fox, all Rodia, oh Rodia oh and Fallow Deer. No, I have absolutely no idea when the pigs actually drink. Uh, I've also just realised I've still got Firefox open, which is probably tanking the stream quality, but it might. At least let me Google when they drink. Oh my god, they drink from midnight to 3.30. Blimey. Okay, well, we're well too late to catch them drinking. No wonder I've never found any bloody drinking tracks from them. Who says Roe Deer must be Scooby Doo's Nan's catchphrase? <laughs> oh, well. Another hill that I've just casually fallen off of. Oh, I, I heard a great Scooby Doo speak joke. Yesterday evening, I'm now desperately trying and failing to remember what it was. Um, well, hello. Uh, I'm guessing that deer is on the other side of this hill. I could do what BG would suggest and just try and shoot all the way through the hill. But I feel like that would be doomed to failure. So I'll check the water's edge. It doesn't seem like anyone's here. No, no one's here. No, the joke absolutely escapes me. I'm sure it was hilarious because I laughed when I saw it. Uh, but I will, I will have to unfortunately deprive everyone else of it. Because my memory don't work good. Uh, I realise I'm wandering north straight into this. I actually need to set a new waypoint. And we're just going to wander until we find something, hopefully pig-shaped, to shoot. Bimmy says, was it the red roar? I don't think so. What's the red roar? Yeah, I can't even say it. What's the red roar one? A 
another Rodia to try and tempt in with the irresistible lure of my child squeaky toy. Actually, it's not a child squeaky toy, it's a dog squeaky toy. Uh okay, no sign of the radio. Uh Bimo says Shake and Scooby walking upstairs. They pass a sign for the red roar, but Scooby reads as third floor. Thus spinning Shaggy the the cow. Okay, I see. The implication being that he simply like does a one for one substitution, and so when it's presented the other way around. He substitutes back. That was the most boring way possible to explain that joke and sap any humour out of it, but I did find it moderately funny. I apologise. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's really quiet, actually. Well, congrats, Rodeo. You have the distinction of being our first Solokin kill. Well done. Straight to the heart. Love it. Yeah, I'm worried that the penetration on these bullets isn't going to be good enough to actually take down any of the animals that I want to take down. Like a red deer. Um, I, don't, I don't have the wiki open anymore, so I can't compare it directly. But it's possible that these... But it may even have less penetration than the uh, Ranger 243 that I've been so worried about being a bit useless. Okay, we're nearly here. Set our next waypoint from there. We've got a sleep zone to collect. Yes, boom boom. That is exactly what I desire. It's just going to be a boring old hunting stand or something. Which is less interesting. Yeah, the problem with, with having something that doesn't have enough penetration is I have to move around to like a different position and get a better angle on it. I can't just sort of take a shot right down the front. It's a lovely day, now that the rain has stopped. Look at that! Look how pretty that is! Get me camera out. Look how pretty that is! Unreasonable. Um... I do, I have to say it every time I play this game. <laughs> Not even being paid to. Do 
And it says postcard worthy. Yeah, if I ever if I ever visit Germany, I'll send someone with a postcard of a, of a screenshot from me playing a, a game in fake Germany. See if anyone notices. That would be hilarious. Uh, that would be a great bit of fun. Although the problem would be then, anyone who did notice would think I hadn't actually been to Germany. And I just found like a random stock picture or something. Uh, no, I thought I saw something up there, but perhaps not. We are currently in just empty forest. We are pigless. We are deerless. We are peasantless. I'm not actually sure if I've been into this like little bit before, because I've been up here to get those, but I don't know if I've been here. I did what at one point come some distance along this bit of the map, but I may only have got as far as that tent. Which might be why that tent is there actually now I think about it. <laughs> that may have been the place I was supposed to pick back up from on like a subsequent stream and never have. Whoops. That's true, Boom Boom, but I feel like if a postcard was something that I could tell was a CGI generated image, then I'd be like, this is suspicious. Because I've never seen a postcard that was like a picture that wasn't. that was CG. And it says they just think you got ripped up for the counter for postcard, I guess. I suppose I could dress it up to look more postcardy, and then it would seem more like a legit postcard. But actually, I couldn't do that because I have no abilities whatsoever in graphic design. So me trying to make a oh, let's just track me trying to make a postcard look more postcardy would be an unmitigated disaster. Picture of counterfeit Germany. Yeah, you know, that fake place. Germany. It's not real. Although, I was discussing with BG earlier, and I just realised he was talking about pretending a fake place, or they were talking about she, I think, actually, for BG. I don't know, I don't have the pronouns much turned on. Uh, apologies, BG, if you're watching this on the world. Uh, was talking about. This is a disaster, I'm going to scrap this story. Um, fake places in Germany was the gist. And they said, like that place Sweden. And it's not Sweden that's mimetically the fake one, it's Finland that's supposed to be fake. So why did she say, like Sweden? I've only just realised this. <laughs> what? Is there a is there a different conspiracy that I'm not aware of? Uh, Bim says just print it. Just got to print it on glossy paper. Oh, you're right. Yes, I don't even know where you get like postcard paper from. Is it just? Can you just buy it in like Smiths? <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're very far away, aren't you? Hmm. Okay. This won't zero that far. This only zeroes up to 150 meters. Hmm. Boomer says maybe Sweden is a marketing stunt. I can't say that it definitely isn't. I've not been there myself. Maybe it was made up by IKEA as their fake origin story. Alright. Inspect the pile of stones. The wild boar is a highly versatile omnivore whose diversity in choice of food rivals that of humans. Did you erect all of them stones just to say one thing about pigs? 
that's impressive dedication, I suppose. Oh no, is it across the river? Ah. Hmm. Okay, across the river I might not be able to deal with. Bingo says, join the joint venture between Ikea and Volvo. Those most obvious of bedfellows. Hello! You're a roadie. You look like you might be something like a piebald. Or have a, another interesting pattern on you. Uh, what's the maximum I can... That zero is up to 300 metres, apparently. No, it's facing away from me. That's why it looks like it has an interesting pattern, because I'm actually seeing the tail. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to any of you. Because <laughs> there's a river in between us, and I don't think I'm going to be able to cross it. There is a tent there, but it's upwind of you. The wind's blowing southeast at the moment. So that wouldn't be any good. Uh, did I decide this goes up to 150 at the end? It's okay. So, like, I'm nearly in range of the pheasant. But, of course, as I go further down, I get trees in the way. Oh, is that a way across? That's a way across. Fantastic. Right, we're going to round up the stream by hopefully sneaking up this hill and ambushing a deer and a pheasant. <laughs> oh, or possibly by falling off of the tail <laughs> and breaking all of our bones. One of those two options. Oh, so we didn't... we weren't that far away from a crossing point, because I was worried I wouldn't be able to cross it until, like, down there. checking there was no one actually along the river. It would have been easier targets to shoot at. But no such luck. I've got to go for the climb. 189 meters. Oh, if I could see it, that would have been a shot that I could have at least tried. Although, given that it's a pheasant, and we have to get it in the air before we shoot it, I think that we will probably not succeed anyway. Even if it's still there by the time we get there. Uh, actually, seeing as we're getting closer, let's go back to our normal zeroing. Is this also a normal zeroing? Yes. Okay. Oh, blimey, hello! Right, well, okay. Uh, how about instead, we just shoot you? Finally, a gun that does something. Wonderful news. Thank you, Nick. Uh, I'm just going to run off to finish because this is going to be the last animal we pick up as soon as we find him. He 
who's tried to make it hard for us by doubling back on his own tracks. But, luckily, he was bleeding too much. Amazing. Okay, well, that's where we're going to end for today. I'm going to grab this feed zone while we're here. Rotating zone, that's fine. And a lovely deer to end on. Marvellous. Kind of slightly boring brown fur, but that's fine. Got them through the leg, into a lung. Amazing. All right, uh, that's it for me for today. Uh, I want to say a big thank you, of course, to Boom Boom and BG for showing up and being around in the chat. It's always lovely to have you here. Uh, to anyone else who is watching, uh, if you're here with me on Twitch, uh, please do drop a follow. Uh, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, do please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, there is, oh my gosh, so much uh, Call of the Wild up on my YouTube. It's unbelievable. Uh, other than that, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Pokemon Y. I've been a busy little beaver drawing sketches of questionable quality of Pokemon that are joining my team. Uh, and you'll be able to see some new ones for the new team members we picked up last time. Uh, until then, thank you everyone so much for watching. I will see you all next time. ta -ra. Bye! Bye, Boom Boom. Bye.